When Apple announced the share play option during WWDC, I could have cared less about watch parties, TV shows, or listening to songs with friends. Instead, I was much more interested in the screen sharing feature. As the name suggests, you can now share your screen with other participants during your FaceTime call. They can see what's happening on your iPhone or iPad in real time, as long as you have iOS 15, iPad OS 15, and even Mac OS 12.0 installed. If we haven't met, I'm Ellen from Ellen's Tips for iOS, where I help seniors master their iPhones and iPads. If you find value in this video, hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and turn on that notification bell so you never miss when a new video is posted. Let's get started. You can use the screen share feature to showcase a presentation, photos, or even plan your next vacation. Another option is troubleshooting on your iPhone, iPad, or Mac. If you're stuck, you can reach out to someone more tech savvy and they can walk you through the steps right on your screen. Maybe you'll be the one doing the tutorial. With that out of the way, let's show how you can use FaceTime to screen share your device. So let's go ahead and launch FaceTime on your iPhone or iPad. And you'll come into a screen and you should have two options, create a link or start a new FaceTime call. You might actually have below here a listing of previous uh, FaceTime calls that you've done. I've just deleted those so that you're seeing a blank screen. If I tap on new FaceTime call, it's going to bring me into a screen where I can either start typing in contacts or I can choose from the suggested contacts if I'd like to. Um, or I could hit the plus button and that'll take me into my contacts list and I can go through and choose the people that I'd like to add. I'm going to go ahead and tap on cancel here and cancel again. I really like this new create link for your uh, FaceTime call. So let me show you how that works. If I tap on create link, Apple creates a link and you can share it via any of these options. You can share it via messages, which I find to be uh, much easier because the person's going to get an immediate notification. So if I tap on messages, you'll see that a link is uh, located in the message area. And again, I can start adding message. I can start adding contacts that I want to join this particular call. I can also hit the plus sign and that'll take me into my contacts app. Now, unfortunately, as of right now, you can only share your screen with other people using Apple devices. Maybe that will change at some point, but for right now, only Apple users can use screen share. So now I've, I've added a name that um, I want to connect with on FaceTime and all I need to do is tap the send on the messages and that link becomes live. And I just need to tap into that link and you'll, be see, you'll see that I've been taken into the FaceTime app and at the top right corner of the screen, you'll see the join message I'll go ahead and tap on join and then it'll tell me up here in the right below FaceTime, it'll let you know that you're waiting for other users to join the call. So as you can see underneath FaceTime, it says that one person is waiting to join uh, this FaceTime call. So I'm going to click on that and then it tells me who wants to join and you just have to click on the check mark next to the uh, who wants to join and then tap on done. Once your group is in place, tap the little icon that looks like a computer screen with a person in front of it. Select share my screen in the pop-up window. A three second countdown will happen and you'll notice that under where it says screen sharing, it says notifications will be hidden while sharing so that others on the call won't be disturbed by your notifications during the screen share. You can now navigate to the app or document you want to show. To end the screen share, you'll just tap on the same tiny screen icon and that will disable screen sharing or 
You can tap on end the FaceTime call if you're ready, and that will disable screen sharing as well as end the call. With Apple's improvements in iOS 15, the software is one step closer to replacing other video calling apps. Let me know in the comments if and how you're using screen share on your iPhone or iPad. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.